Hi everyone and welcome back to Project JR. Today we're going to talk about the new update to Gran Turismo, um, update 1.23, which actually comes out with a lot of content, um, very exciting content. Some stuff are, you know, below average, but some stuff really do excite me and also excite the community as well. So let's get into it. So the first new update is that the game comes with three new um, events in the GT League. I'm not very interested in that. Uh, I'm not too sure if the other guys are. It doesn't really catch my eye. The next update is that there is a new circuit experience um, of Lamar. Uh, yeah, a bit too late there, um, Gran Turismo, but you know, better late than never. Then the new, then another update is that you can purchase cars from your PS store, which cost less than two million credits. Um, to me, this is alright. I've heard rumors that Gran Turismo Sport and the founder actually said that they weren't going to do this in the beginning of the development stage of the game. So, a very big shock and a very big surprise to everyone. The next update is that now we can um, actually put decals on our race suit so if you go into your livery editor you can now update your uh, race suit with decals and it's quite cool I mean especially if, if you want to advertise you know the community that you created or you know your YouTube channel um, anything anything that you want to promote you can now put on your you can now put on your race suit and you can actually add your race suit to the new um, scapes that have um, that have been brought out with the update um, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy this especially with and I'm sure everyone will enjoy it as well it makes it very unique for everyone because now they can match the cars to their race suits and it's it's, it's, it's such a nice update it is a bit late but I'm I'm sure a lot of people are gonna enjoy this so onto the new update we actually received a new track with uh, six layouts uh, which is kind of cool the tracks name is I'm not to show you if I'm gonna butcher this or not circuit the Sante crow which has six layouts which is quite nice it's a very very um, high-speed track but also includes very technical sections so you must be very specific on your braking look for your braking markers accelerating markers it's a very beautiful track I must say Polyphony has made very beautiful tracks for Gran Turismo Sport so I must I must congratulate them on that and I mean it's such a refreshing track because it's not too short but it's also it's very enjoyable almost like a cruise the tracks gonna take you about three and a half minutes to comp to complete which is similar which is a similar time to to the Lamar track but uh, very it's very nice it's very enjoyable I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna that's gonna enjoy this track so now we get to the final stage which are the cars and we have three new cars that are in the N100 class so we're starting with, off with the 2002 Daihatsu Copan Active Top um, which is you know an N1000 N100 car and I can understand them putting these cars in this game 
very competitive if you race with them but not very fast not for the game and I mean I emphasize Gran Turismo sport so yes it is a competitive game but I think that the game is supposed to have more race cars race spec out cars the next car is the 1991 Honda Beat which is a N100 as well um, okay I guess all these cars are okay similar to the next car which is a 2015 Honda S660 um, a, a more modern car but very similar to the two above um, not interesting very fun to drive but yeah that's about it So the next car we're going to talk about is the, the new Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car which I mean we all know that this car comes from Gran Turismo 4 um, just by looking at it and it kind of puts me in a very nostalgic position where I kind of really miss this car and I'm so happy that it came to Gran Turismo Sport and to the GR uh, group GR3 group which is very exciting and I've tested out this car and it's very stable very comfortable to drive very enjoyable I'm sure a lot of guys are gonna be very happy with this car So the next car is the Mazda 787B from 1991. Uh, this car sounds amazing, this car handles amazing and I'm so excited that this car came out to the game. Uh, I, was expecting it, I was expecting it to come out with the rest of the Group C cars and I was actually questioning myself whether Gran Turismo is going to is gonna bring this car out but I'm so happy that they brought it out even though it's a bit late um, yeah the sound of this car is so amazing even though it's not as accurate as real life it's much better sounding as it was in the previous games and I'm so so happy that they brought this car out a very iconic car the first Japanese car to actually win the 24 hours of Le Mans um, right next to the recent Toyota 2018 uh, hybrid car that won it this year and I'm so so glad that this is out I'm definitely gonna take it out for a few more tests a few more test drives and I'm sure I'm gonna race it in um, a few leagues as well So the most anticipated car of this update is the new 2017 Mercedes AMG F1 car, the W08 model, which will be available in the GRX uh, group. Um, there are two variants. There is the, the default Mercedes livery variant, and there's all, also a, a color uh, you know a variant where you can choose different colors which is which is cool but unfortunately they haven't updated or well, they didn't bring out the car uh, where you can put on decals so I'm not too sure if that's a licensing issue with Mercedes um, the F1 team but uh, I hope that they do patch it up and bring an update for us to actually make it more 
to to make a car more more personalized to ourselves and make it more unique to each player instead of having different colors uh, which is going to make it a bit boring to use if you are going to race it uh, between players online but i'm very excited that this car did come out it's a very difficult car to handle you have to soften up the suspension because apparently uh, the, the online players have complained about this car but i'm sure with a lot of practice uh, you'll get used to it and finally the last car on this update i'm so excited that it came out this car is such a beautiful car it's the ferrari 1962 250 GTO and this car is so beautiful when it came out in 1962 it was the most amazing beautiful glorious to look at car and even until today it's voted one of the most amazing cars and actually one of the most expensive cars in the world today but unfortunately I can't afford this car because it costs 2 million credits but as soon as I uh, get lucky and win this car or I can afford it I'll definitely take it out for a test drive and I'll bring it out to the channel and let you guys all experience the amazing beauty and the sound of this car so that's it guys for the new update I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I hope you guys enjoyed are enjoying the update to the game uh, I'm definitely gonna test out the new cars and use it and test drive it and actually give maybe give out a review for each car of the new update I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like please subscribe if you haven't please comment if you want to add any comments and I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and stay tuned cheers